Hi, my name is Ashley Maria, and I am a director in Los Angeles, ready to make my first feature. And my question is, how do I properly prepare myself to approach financiers? And then how do I prove to them that I have the chutzpah to put their money to good use? First off, uh, always hats off to a woman in film. I'm always shocked there aren't more women directors, because women, they're used to creating. They're creators, right? Giving babies and whatnot. Who better to make a flick? But you know, it's always dudes. And so it's nice to see a lady director stepping up. Uh, my first piece of advice, don't ask anybody for money, man. I'm looking at the wrong place. They're never going to give me the job me. if I look That's at the monitor. But I was playing to her. <laughs> I was trying to make a connection. I'll post live. As All right, say. so you've done it. Camera one. Go don't for it. don't uh, go to people for money, man. Uh, you don't need that much money, unless you're making some kind of underwater epic. You don't need to go to somebody else. There are no more gatekeepers. I mean, there are. If you want their money, by all means. But then you got to take their notes and stuff. But you don't have to wait for somebody to tell you, yes, you may proceed. You don't have to go out there with your hand held out and whatnot. Of course, there's like Indiegogo, Kickstarter, you can raise a budget that way. And you're essentially not begging for money, you're pre-selling all your, your DVDs and whatnot in advance to help you finance your dream. But don't get that thinking, uh, kind of incorrect thinking out of your head, man. You don't have to wait or ask somebody or approach a financier. Um, I, I, you know, I did it on credit cards, a bunch of credit cards that I'd, I'd kind of put together. I always feel Suze like... Suze Orman is dying somewhere. Somewhere, right? That's She's sitting there going, I said I was starting my first film. But, I, but it's weird. She goes, I'm starting my first film, but I need money. I'm like, well, then you're not starting your first film. Or you can start your first film without needing that money at all. Some people get blocked. Everyone gets like a really good idea of like, I want to do something. Sometimes you sit around, watch a movie, listen to a podcast. You're like, I want to do that. Then they stop because like, I don't know how, I don't have the money. Money is a, is a hurdle that's kind of easy to get over, particularly in the age of technology where this magical box right here or the ones we have in our pockets will shoot a movie, you can edit a movie, you can upload it to YouTube, all from the same device, all within like an hour or something like that. So when that technology is at your hand, sometimes people are a little f afraid about like, well, I don't know how to use it, or uh, they say that making movies make mo it takes money, and of course it does, it takes a little bit of, of uh, lucre, but not as much as like uh, that should stop somebody from going out to finance their own dream or go out looking for finance, but that's the thing I try to curb. Like, don't ask people for money. If you do that, then you just give yourself an excuse to never really take the next step. You're like, well, I couldn't find the budget. Like, a lot of people ask me, like, I was where you were once. Can't you help me? And I was like, well, the difference was when I was where you were, I never asked anybody for help. I just did it myself. Mm -hmm. So it's always better if you can do it yourself. You feel better at the end of the day. And then you're not bugging anybody with your hand out. You don't owe anybody. Nobody's got anything over you. And they're also not telling you, like, hey, you know that vision that you've been carrying around your whole life? change it because there's something about it that bugs me and since I'm shelling out the dough you got to do that sort of thing. First time out especially don't be God, my hair looks terrible. First time out especially don't don't go looking for money from somebody else man especially that first film of yours because you're trying to get you out there. The the big, the most you you'll ever have a chance to do is when you're making your first flick man. After that your voice gets altered here and there based on the money you accept or whatnot. So I say try to find the money yourself uh, hit up your friends Kickstart and Indiegogo are two fantastic organizations that you can use, but don't look for financing. So don't worry about what to tell a uh, financier. But you're not using Unless the financier is mom. That's the one financier, <laughs> mom or dad, you should be hitting up right now, man, especially if you're young and at home.